but just work with me. Okay. Hey everybody, this is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report. And today, I'll be addressing three of the most common myths I hear about this snake, the copperhead. Copperheads are some of my absolute favorite snakes in North Carolina, but their cryptic coloration and behavior can make them extremely difficult to find in the wild. Locating an individual to film for this video proved especially challenging. As is often the case with herping, the first snake we found was not a copperhead. Ooh, look at that. This is a really nice little black rat snake. Now, as you guys know, black rat snakes are one of my absolute favorite snakes to find because they are harmless to humans, but they get pretty large, and so they can be scary for some people. And this one is really hot. He was out basking, and so I'm not going to hold on to her for too long because it seems kind of agitated. This is a pretty young individual, not yet fully grown, just out enjoying his afternoon and basking in the sun. So I'll go ahead and put him right back. But what a beautiful snake. Once again, non-venomous, no reason to fear these guys, and they are an important part of the middle layer of our ecosystems. So we'll like, literally put it back right now. Bye friend, thank you. Okay, I've been hiking for about four hours now and I've seen absolutely nothing. Well, that's not true. I've seen some black rat snakes, but no copperheads, which I'm wearing the lucky shirt and that's what I wanted to find today. So I'm thinking that it's still maybe a little too early in the season at least in central North Carolina, for them to be out in any numbers that I can find them. So what we'll do now is head to coastal North Carolina, where it's been a bit warmer, and see if we can't improve our luck. Okay, well, <laughs> the stuff is going crazy right now. There's like giant military test flights going on over our heads, but more importantly, something right here <laughs> that I did not think was possible is happening. I was literally, we were looking at it on the road, and I said, like, there's no way it's a copperhead. It must be a big cottonmouth because copperheads don't exist in this part of the state, basically. And here it is, perfect copperhead, beautiful adult, Hershey kiss pattern is so obvious. Oh, hello, and it's a little bit spicy, too. Oh, man, it's going to be perfect to film. I'm going to bring it a little closer to the car, and we'll get set up. You took me weeks to find, dude. Thank goodness. Jeez. Oh, hello. I know. Very scary. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Don't be a noodle. He's being a scary noodle. A few moments later. Okay. <laughs> no. No. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Now, copperheads are the most common venomous snake in the southeastern United States. And that means that most of the venomous snake bites that occur in this area are, in fact, inflicted by copperheads. And that's a statistic that scares many people. And because there is so much fear and uncertainty around these snakes, lots of myths have been propagated surrounding various aspects of their biology and behavior. The first thing I want to talk about is the danger of copperhead venom. In the last century, there have been about five deaths from copperhead bites, and every single one of those deaths was not due to the toxicity of the venom or its effects on the body. It was actually an allergic reaction to the venom, which just like any other allergic reaction is extremely unlikely and uncommon. And indeed, every year, about 10 people die from falling TVs, whereas on average, less than one person dies from a copperhead snake bite. So if you haven't yet removed all the TVs from your home and you're still scared of copperheads, I would definitely advise getting those TVs gone as soon as possible. So the second common myth I want to address has to do with copperhead behavior. And to talk about that, all I have to do is what I'm doing right now, work with a copperhead so you can see that these things are not aggressive monsters. I can't tell you how many comments I get or even just conversations I have with people who tell me about copperheads chasing down their grandparents, their dogs, their children, themselves. Here's the thing. Snakes are small reptiles compared to humans. And definitely, if they feel intimidated, they'll act defensively because it doesn't know if you're a large predator that's trying to eat it or not. All this snake wants to do is go about its daily business in peace. And that's probably also what you want to do. So the best way to avoid any kind of negative encounter with a copperhead is not to harass or try and harm the snake and just leave it where it is. Now the third and final thing I do want to talk about in this video is copperhead identification slash copperhead patterning. I get comments telling me about red copperheads, yellow copperheads, purple copperheads, polka dot copperheads, striped copperheads, all kinds of different crazy colors and patterns of copperheads, when in reality there's only one thing you need to know about copperhead identification, and that is look for the Hershey Kiss. 
every copperhead in the eastern U.S. will have Hershey kiss shape patterning on the sides. They might have slightly different colors. Some individuals might be lighter brown, gray, a little bit reddish to this chocolate brown that's very classic and gives them their name, but they will all have Hershey kisses on the side. And this individual actually has really nice looking cross bending patterning. Very obvious, you can see the Hershey kisses from the side as I'm working with him right here. Now this individual has been an absolute joy to work with. I love copperheads. They are definitely one of my favorite snakes partly because they're beautiful and partly because they're so dang misunderstood, but it is time to get this individual back in the wild now and help him cross the road safely. Thank you so much for being a good sport buddy and we'll get you right back in the wild. All right, see you buddy. You can go now, if you want to, yeah? Perfect, my friend. You guys, I never thought I'd film this video. It's taken me weeks to find one of these things. And this is not an area where they're even supposed to exist. That is awesome, that is such a blessing. Oh, what a beautiful copperhead. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Wild Report YouTube for educational wildlife content coming on Thursday mornings as often as possible. This is Ben Zeno of the Wild Report, signing out.